Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Let's go solve some red puzzles. It is time. I demand a challenge. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, this is not a puzzle room. Or, well, it looks like it once was, but it isn't anymore. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything inside of here. Perhaps one of the objects that used to be in here was left behind? A box, or a connector, or a fan? Also, of course, I've always got to keep a lookout for a key. Because I need a key for that binocular thing. Okay. Nothing in here, huh? Yeah, I find this very suspicious. Let's take a look around the parameter. Okay. It doesn't want to give up its secrets easily. Fair enough. Which one shall I go to first? Who cares? Let's do this one. Oh yeah, this is the one that uses, like, everything. You know, for that reason alone, maybe I should do this one last. Yeah, because I think this is going to be the most complex one, at least in terms of complexity of the objects and their interactions. Let's do a different one. I think there's one red one that actually only required the recorder. And that was it. Which would be this one. This this should be the simplest one, right? Yeah. Hmm. What happens if your recording gets blown up by a turret? Interesting thought. I guess we're going to find out. Oh yes, something else that I tested, by the way, that I think I forgot to show before, is this. So if I just stand here for a minute. So if you put your recording somewhere like that, and then you take this away. Um, oh. Right. Uh, never mind, that doesn't quite work. Um, it is possible to have your recording go somewhere that when the recording was made was uncovered, like, you know, what I just did there. I had my recording go inside of the force field, and then it is possible, in at least one case, I was able to get the force field to come back even while my recording was inside of it, which pr produced some distortions in the force field. I was thinking maybe I could do something crazy with that, like maybe the distortions would allow me, in my non-recording form, to, like, pop through. But, uh, no, it, it was purely a visual thing. Didn't change anything else. Okay, well. And I suppose I can put the jammer on the other side. So there's my end goal. Gotcha. Can't forget the key. Looking for a big ass key. Peekaboo. Okay. 
Okay, well, let's just see what happens with a recording and a minigun. Alright, so yeah, that's not actually the recording itself, that's me... Oh, it's called Me, Myself, and Our Two Jammers. <laughs> I didn't actually look at the name before. So I was making a recording, but that wasn't actually the recording itself. So this time, let's make it the actual recording. Wait, how would I do this? I don't... I don't know if I actually need to do this, I just want to test this. I want my recording to get shot at by a turret. Or whatever would happen. Or not get shot at. Depends how it's gonna react. I don't actually know how to do that, though. Um... I mean, I could do this, I suppose. Is this going to do anything? I don't think this is actually going to do anything. No, that doesn't do anything. Alright, forget it. Let's just try to solve the puzzle. A normal person might just see... scenery. I see platforms to jump on. So many platforms. I have no idea how this is going to work. So... If I make a recording... And... and what? Yeah, I suppose... Yeah, that actually that'll work, right? Yeah, so I just jam it for a while. And then my recording will jam the minigun. Go on, little buddy. Little mini-me. Little... actually, you're not mini at all. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's half of this down. Now I need the other half. Um... Oh. I need to do that all in one step. I don't suppose there's a switch to turn off this turret, is there? Well, I found the on switch. Okay. So. Let's put this on the other side. Let's make a recording. Let's take this. Let's disable that. Uh, let's leave that disabled for a while. Then step on this. Just leave that for a while, about five seconds. Okay, and we're good. There we go. Sweet. So is there anywhere I can jump up? I don't have any boxes, I don't have any fans. Everything's fairly high up. I don't see anything. I do think I'm gonna sneeze though, I, f I f have that feeling coming on. And now it's going away, which is even more frustrating. You know, I wish I always had, like, like, a little packet of 
pepper that I could just like snort up my nose to force me to sneeze? Because that would be vastly more pleasant than having the half sneeze. Where you feel like you gotta sneeze and then you don't and then it's like, oh god damn it. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, I don't see anywhere to jump up on anything. Not without a box or something. Into the swamp. It's a three item room. Moderately complicated. What about this one? Three items as well. Okay. Behind the Iron Curtain. The Iron Curtain, wasn't that a name? I remember that from I remember that from history class. Wasn't that the name for like something related to the Cold War or something? I don't know. Who cares about history? <laughs> Stuff happened in the past. Bullshit. Lies. A lot of switches here. Why is the switch raised up? Why is it raised above everything else? It's weird. Is there some special significance to that? I find that very suspicious. In fact, you know what this could allow me to do? The fact that this is raised up might allow me to jump from this to a stack of two boxes. If I can find two more boxes. But uh, anyway, let's leave that for now. Alright, that gets me red power. Cool. So let's use this here. Let's grab this inside. Uh, now we have that inside. Undo that, and then we can put red power here. Give him that box, thank you. Blue power. Alright. Box has been extricated, but we're gonna have to keep that open. Well, you know what, I might as well just set this here, right? Yeah, cool. Actually. Can I do this? Ah! Mmm! <laughs> ah. What can I do with this? I want to see if I can... Oh, what was that? Jump jump here. Where's there? I'm not sure where that is, but I pressed jump and it doesn't do anything. Hmm. I don't think that's related to solving this puzzle. But you can definitely do some stuff with that. So, anyway. Let's put that back the way it was. We have access to a blue power. We have a box. Uh, there's more red power. No lack of red power, that's for sure. Oh, so I just need to get blue power out here and that's it. There is a third box. Ah, and there's a fan. Holy crap, this is like a playground. Yeah. There's a fan behind that wall. Where is it? Hmm. It's blowing in a strange direction. Where is it going? I think this is related to the uh, star up there. You know what? There's so many fans, like secret fans all around. Maybe... Maybe you need to, like, jump in one and it, like, bounces you around the map? In some bizarre way or something? 
and then eventually somehow ends up taking you like over the star or something. I don't know. Jesus Christ, there's so much to this puzzle. Two switches? Another box, another connector? There's a ladder there. How would I how would I get these items outside of here? How would I get them outside of this room? What's the point? You know, what's the point of the items existing if I can't even get them outside of the room? I don't know. But uh, I think I need to activate that. So let's let's forget this place for now. All right, so we have all our tools with us. Uh, I think I'm going to need a box, maybe. Let's see. Nope, I don't. So, you need to step on both? Or if you just put a box right in the center, I suppose you're okay. Oh wait, you can't, can you? You can't actually put a box in the center, can you? Even though you can step in the center. <laughs> Assholes. Hmm. Okay. I don't get it. What's the point? Well, I mean, I guess the whole point of this is to get another connector. I mean, I guess I don't need all these boxes, but I do need another connector, don't I? So maybe that's the thing, I'm sacrificing the boxes for the connector? Because I could potentially grab this, you know? Like, pass that through the window, if this was open, which is not. I'm going to be committed to this, though, because if I throw the box down there, then... That's it. Like, I can't get it back out. Alright. Alright. Come with me. Hope this is right. Dicks. Well, if I use three boxes... And then I suppose I could take one with me. Okay. Alright, yeah, this should do it. Two connectors in one box, that should be enough to do something. Okay, so we need red power to do that. Hold on, maybe... We don't need this there anymore.
Can this go over that? No, so I can't go over the force field. Okay. So we need all this stuff inside. Yes? No? Maybe? Sure. I guess the box goes here. And then... No, 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 no. This goes here. But what about the beams? They're gonna hit. Come on, they're not close enough. I guess if I just switch places? That's what this one is raised up? Or at least one of the reasons it's raised up? There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, there's a lot going on in here. There's tons of tools, there's... What, three boxes and two connectors? And I already know a place that I can jump up on and use to get around to the walls. So the uh, potential for exploits here are extremely high. I'm just trying to think, okay, if I jumped up here on the wall, where could I get? Because I want to get around to that fan, I suppose. I can't jump across that, so I can't go that way. I'd have to go this way. And then, could I jump up to there? Uh, I don't think so. No. I don't know. I might be able to get a stack of boxes on that fan. On that fan right there, I might be able to do that. But, uh, let's focus on breaking the level after I've solved the main puzzles. What's in here? Keys? Secrets? Any secrets? Socrates? Socrates? The four chambers of flying. Whoa. That's weird. It's a toggle. It turns the force field on. Normally those turn force fields off, but this time it turns the force field on and the fan on. Hmm. Interesting. God, this one, I can already tell this is going to be crazy. Got a window, although I don't see any source of power that would benefit from that. That does the opposite thing here, it turns the... Well, no, no, it does the same thing. Yeah, it turns the force field on and the fan on. Okay, so... I could launch the box or myself. So, I could, for example, just put that there and then touch that, and then the box is going to go flying, but uh, where is it going to go flying? I need to figure out where I want it to go first. Well, you know what, first, let's get this. That. Connector, red power. Alright, red power's gotta go somewhere.
damned if I know where. But it's going somewhere. I'm getting better at this. I figured this out in uh, I figured this one out in minutes. But where is it all leading? I work, I rest, I work, but to what end? We are born and die and live again. This eternal cycle must be the nature of existence. Life is merely repeated suffering. An eternal cycle is another name for a prison. But you must understand the cycle before you can break it. For it is possible to escape and yet remain a prisoner, or to break the cycle by breaking yourself. This was the fate of the ghost that haunts this world. Whoa, wait a minute. I think this is actually really important. This was the fate of the ghost that haunts this world. I think it's talking about either the entity in the archives or Elah Elohim himself. So I think the shepherd is saying that one of those two entities escaped but remained a prisoner or broke themselves. Interesting. I hope I don't share the same fate. Okay, so I can launch a box. I, well, I don't even know where they're going to launch because I don't know how far these are going to blow. For, most likely it's going to go in between those two force fields. Wait a minute. Hold on, that actually said jump. Hmm. Well, that was easy. Hello. I don't think this really helps anything. Well, I could kind of use it to get the jammer, I suppose. Anyway. So the end goal is to get the red power all the way over there. And I need to do that using... One connector? Huh? No, maybe I'm just supposed to use the jammer. I have an idea. Oh right, I just launched the box away so now I don't have it. That may not have been a good idea. No, I think it's still fine. This seems like it's the solution is going to be like really really simple. And I don't even need to use the red power, unless I'm an idiot, but I can't... Can I just do this? Oh, but I can't take this up ladders, can I? No. But it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter that I can't take it up ladders. Because I can just do this. <laughs> it's solved? I don't think it's meant to be that easy. Is it? But how else would you do that with only one connector? There's no way the connector can be the thing that can possibly provide power to this, because then the power would have to come from what? It'd have to come from, like, there? Is that even possible? Do I even have an angle? No, I, I can't even get an angle where I'm looking at that. And somehow looking in there. Uh. I don't get it. I wonder where that blows. I mean, hell, I probably could have used this to just 
can... Can you blow, like, connectors? Oh, they don't blow up in the air. Gotcha. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do, but this works, so... Yay! And it's worth noting... That... Using this room and that box trick... I could get a jammer and as many fan blades as I want outside of the level. Where does this go? Whee, thank you. Yeah, I mean... Boom. Jammer's outside. There. Connector's outside. And then I can go back for, like, all the fans if I want. Interesting. If I had a source of blue power, I could try to power that thing. Uh, I think that thing needs a fan blade as well. Hmm. Okay. I think that just leaves one red puzzle, right? The crazy one? That uses, like, everything? Let the crazy begin. Alley of the Pressure Plates. This lifts you up just enough to block the blue. No, above it. Okay. Hm. If this was a box, I could get on top of it and probably jump up there. So I need blue power over there. So, in other words, I need to make this connector be on top of a box on here. Oh my god. Okay, that's <laughs> that's one part of what I need to do. That would open that up, but I also need to get through here. How? How would I get through here? And why does it keep popping up like for one frame, hold X to reset? Why would I want to reset? It pops up every time I jump. Like every time I press this. I guess they expect you to get trapped in here or something? They're like, we're no we know you're gonna get screwed, so yeah. I mean, I could just make a copy of this. Oh, oh shit. Never mind. Could I somehow use this to keep going further? I mean, if I go in there, I'm trapped, right? Yep. I'm bonered. Okay, well, let's just see if we can get this to work, and then let's worry about that later. So let me just see if I can get the blue power there, because there's no... I don't think there's any point in going over there if I can't, you know, if the blue power isn't set up. Although there could be extra boxes or something over there. Hmm. I might need to use my recorder for this. Well, if I take this off... I can't put a box on top of it. Yeah, okay. I need my recording to just 
just stand on this for a really long time. Just sit back and take a breath. We're going to be here for about 20 seconds. Seen any good movies lately? I just watched uh, The Honeymoon. It's either called Honeymoon or The Honeymoon, I'm not sure which, but despite the name sounding like a romantic comedy, it's um actually a slow burn kind of psychological horror movie, and it's really damn good. Okay, good enough. Oh crap! Oh no, I forgot a piece! Stop! Stop! I got time. No! My recording's still going! Shit! Not the recording fan! Stop! No, it's all ruined! Fuck! <gasps> you piece of shit! <sighs> so, seen any good movies lately? <clears throat> I don't need to do this for quite so long. A 15 second should be enough. No, don't, don't. Shit. No, wait, I think it's fine. Oh. Fuck! Pain in the ass. Alright, it'll be fine now. There we go. Fifteen seconds. Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. Okay, that's there. Alright, so we need to connect there, there, and there. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Cool. Okay, now we have that. Unfortunately, now I'm pretty sure there's no way for me to possibly get through here. So. You know. That kind of sucks. I can have my recording do this. And I can step on the next one. But then you see the problem that creates. It's like, yeah, whoop de doo Alright. So we know that's possible, that's a good thing, although we also know that we don't want to do that first. Let me try something else. I'm gonna try to get through here, as the next thing. Uh, the next serious thing. But I wanna try something less serious and just see if I can get on the walls. I'll go to 10 seconds, that should be plenty. Aha! Okay, I thought that was possible. Anything up here? You know, I could use this to just... Just skip all that. I guess. Although looking at what I see down there, I don't think that's really gonna help, because I'm still gonna need to get through one of those force fields and... Yeah. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I just had an idea, but I don't think it would quite work. Any floppy disks hidden around here? Okay, well this isn't going to work, but let's see what's here. Always on the lookout for a key.
The last time I found it on a little stone. In a corner. Actually, I'm not sure if it was in a corner. But it was against the wall. I'm thinking it's probably in the water. I really suspect it's in the water amongst the, the reeds and the grass. <sighs> okay. Could I get my recording in here? No, but then I need to get my recording and myself in here. How in the hell? Alright, well I have to reset. If I jumped on the walls over here, could I just jump straight into the red sigil? I don't think I could. It looks like it's too far away. Yeah, I don't think I could. Hmm. I'm really not quite sure. Okay, um, let's ju let's just try this. So I did say that I was going to seriously try to go through here the next time, so let's do that. So if I use the connector as just a thing to, you know, hold it shut, then... Yes, that... Yeah, that would, that would allow us through. Yeah. That would definitely allow us through. I'm totally gonna get myself trapped here. So then these all have extras. So, I can just do that. And I can do that, and then it's like, whoop de doo but then it's like, what's the point? Because then we're back, back down to here. I can't get power. I'm gonna think about this one and I'll be right back. Okay, I actually just did it, or at least I just figured it out. I haven't actually gotten the uh, sigil yet, but here's what I did. So I grabbed everything in recording mode. In recording mode, I grabbed the fan blade, the connector, and the box, and I just set them all on here. Right, so when I stop the recording, these are going to go back to where they were before, because these are recordings of the actual items. I think? I, I hope I have that right. So these, yeah, these recorded versions of the items are here. Then I went and I stood on this for a bit. So this is going to allow me, when I stop recording, it's going to allow me to set up this whole thing. Get the fan blowing. Get that going. And then I stood over here. So that once I have the blue powered to get into the sigil room, my recording opens this up for me and then I can just run on through. I think this is going to work. Um, I stayed on everything for a very long time, so I'm going to have a lot of time to think about this. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work. Okay, so he's just taking the recordings. He's... I'm talking about him like he's different from me. Um, I just set everything on there. And while that's going on, we have the entire time to do... Uh, we actually have to wait until he stands on this. There we go. Can we just do this again? Okay, so that's 100% good to go. And then I think I spent a really long time just standing there, um, giving myself maybe too much of a buffer. So I'm gonna have to wait a very long time for him to come over here. But he'll come. Please open the way for me, sir. It is only polite to be courteous to yourself. Thank you. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright. So we have the main puzzles. 
But we're still lacking the star, and there's a lot of special stuff to do around here. So there's the star up there, there's a bunch of hidden fans, there's the binocular thing over there that needs a key, and I still have no idea where the key is exactly. And have a lot of potential places where I can break stuff and bring fans and connectors and boxes outside of the puzzle rooms. So I can amass quite the collection if I want to. In fact... In fact... I think I could even get a connector out of this room. Let me see if that's true. What do I need to do? Just stand here? Yeah. I think I can actually... Yeah, I should be able to get this connector out of this room because I can just jump on the box like I did before. But then just, you know, have the connector inside of my inventory. Or... Inventory. Inside my hands. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I need this to power that. Oh, that's not gonna work. But, you know what, I think I might... I think I had the possibility of actually... Oh shit, I'm stuck. I think I could have taken the box. So I think I can actually take the box with me. Let me test that. I'm gonna give myself about 10 seconds. I dropped it. I was just mashing click. But yes, you can take it. Okay, so now now I can take a jammer, a connector, um, fan blades, a bunch of fan blades, and at least one box outside of the puzzle area. So there's a bunch of stuff I can do. So next episode, I believe it is time to start breaking this level. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.